Hello, my name is Rajiv Singh Rathor. In this video, I'm going to explain you about how to change a drive letter in Windows operating system and volume mount point feature in Windows operating system. So let me start with the drive letter changing feature. By default, whenever you create a new drive in Windows operating system, Windows will automatically assign a drive letter to that drive. This drive letter works as an entry point for your newly created partition. So anytime you can change the name of your drive letter, even if you have stored the contents in that. So I'm going to show you how to do this thing. And the second thing that I'm going to show you here, it is volume mount point. So let me explain you about this volume mount point feature first. Volume mount point are a specialized NTFS object which are used to mount and provide an entry point to other volumes. Let me explain you in simple words. What is the meaning? Suppose I'm creating a new partition and instead of assigning a particular drive letter to that partition, what I can do, I can create a folder in any other drive and then I can link that folder with my new partition. So instead of using that drive letter, I'll use my folder as a drive letter. I can apply all those things that is possible on drives only. For example, it is quota or shadow copy. All these things will work on my folder that I'm using as a mount point. So this feature is known as volume mount point. The mounted volume is not limited to NTFS file system means the folder that I'm going to use as a mount point should be located on an NTFS formatted partition. But the partition that I'm going to use to link with that folder can be with any file system. Uh, for example, FAT or NTFS, it can be anything. NTFS 5.0 file system is required just to store that mount point means that folder and that folder should be empty. It is something like this. Suppose I'm having a 40 GB hard disk. I have created a 10 GB C drive. Then I have created a folder in this drive and I'm creating a new partition and instead of assigning a new drive letter, what I'm doing, I'm pointing this folder or I'm linking this folder with my new partition. So this folder will work as a mount point for me. So let me show you how to do all these things. First, I'm starting with drive letter change feature, how to change a drive letter. Let me show you my system first. I'm having a D drive here. Let me show you. Uh, these are the things. Uh, Rajiv folder is there. Numbers of files are there. So I'm going to change the drive letter for this fold, this drive. To do this, open run menu and type disk management d i s k m g m t dot m s c okay it will open the disk management console here is the console locate your d drive that you want to change just right click on it and click on change drive letter and path click on it and click on change button specify any other drive letter that you want to assign suppose i'm using m drive here okay Again, yes. And look at this. Now it is M drive. Go to the my computer and see. My computer. Here is this. It is M drive and all the contents are as it is. Here is the folder that I was talking about Rajiv. So this is the way how we can change a drive letter in Windows operating system. Second thing that I'm going to show you that how to use a mount point. So for that purpose, I'm going to create a new folder in my C drive. C drive is NTFS formatted drive. Let me show you. Look at this. This is NTFS partition. And I'm going to create a new part folder in this drive. Uh, I'll name it new and then yeah, folder. I said nuts. This is the empty folder. And I'm going to link this particular folder with my existing partition. Again, open the disk management console. Locate your partition. If you're creating a new partition, you can use the same process at that particular moment. And suppose I'm already having a drive. Just right click on it. Go to the change drive letter and path. Remove this drive letter. I'm removing, removing the drive letter only. I'm not removing the drive. Now drive is there. Again, right click. Change drive letter and path. Click on add button and select this option. Look at this. Mount in the following empty NTFS folder. The partition should be NTFS and the folder should be empty. So click on browse button, locate your newly created folder. It is nuts. That is in C drive. Okay. Okay. 
and here is it go to the C drive and see what happens yeah look at this this is a folder now it looks like a drive right click on it go to property and you will see all features that by default comes with the drive all those things so this is the way how we can assign a f drive letter or not drive letter but how we can use a folder in place of drive letter this is known as volume mount point feature this feature comes by default by default with windows operating system thank you